Hi, this is Darla DeMauro from Hard Work Organizing, and I'm here today to show you how to do your own easy instant makeover in your kitchen. We're going to be transforming my old laminate counter into beautiful granite using granite film. And this film is from Easy Instant Makeover, and I love it. I'm so excited to show you how to do it, but we're going to start with showing you what kind of materials you need to have on hand. So before you start your project, here's what you need. You want to go and grab your hair dryer, regular old hair dryer, not a heat gun, and have that on hand. You want to start by cleaning off your counters. Every kitchen has a little bit of grease, even if you're a vegetarian. So you want to clean your counters really well so you have a good surface for the film to adhere to. You want to have, uh, definitely want to have a spray bottle. This is where all the magic happens. This is just regular water, nothing in it, but very important for installation. And I'll show you that in a little bit. You want to have a screwdriver. And this is more for taking off the switch plates and things that you might run into as you're installing. You want to have a, um, a measuring tape for sure. You want to have a couple of towels. And again, this goes back to using the water to install this. And this is really important. These are magic. This is a squeegee and a, a blade. And these come in the installation kit from Easy Instant Makeover. It is an extra order, but I definitely recommend spending a couple of bucks because this will make the installation super easy. You want to have a pair of scissors, and I like to have, you don't have to have this, but I like to have a cutting mat as well. If you're dealing with really old laminate counters and you don't care about them, maybe you can cut right on there, but I'm going to use a cutting mat for a couple of the detail items. You want, for finishing touches around the sink, you want some silicone um, and uh, you want to make sure that it's the one for kitchen and bath, mold free, definitely make sure you're not using the doors and windows, but the one for kitchens and baths. And you want a straight edge. You can use either a long level for a yardstick, but you want something at least 24 inches long because that's the depth of most countertops. And those are the tools you need to get started. 